of the video as you can see by the title and the thumbnail i'm going to be showing you how i want to curl my natural hair obviously you can see i have really thick type 4 hair you can classify it as whatever type 4 you like because i feel like there's always this back and forth like no you're 4b no you're 4a no you're 4c whatever i have type 4 hair my hair is really um dense my curls are really tight I recently uploaded a video on how I prepped my hair for heat styling so I went over how I washed it, blow dried it, and the products I used as a heat protectant which I'll also be using in this video as well. If you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will be uploading vlogs which I just recently uploaded a vlog of my trip with Bay to New York City. Part 1 is up, part 2 will be coming soon. I really wanted to refocus and just make sure that my vlogs are given like a pleasurable viewing experience. So I put a lot of time into the editing. So make sure y'all check that out. Hit the subscribe button because I have a lot more videos coming to you guys. Like I said, I got the vlogs, mommy videos, and of course the hair videos for you guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started on this wand curl tutorial. Here's the curling wand that I use. It is a Remington curling wand that I picked up from Walmart. As you can see here, it has the power button and then it has an up and down button where you can adjust the settings. I typically go on the highest temperature setting that they have and it's 410. That's the setting that I use. I use the highest settings because that's what gives me the best results. Be mindful that if you are using heat on your hair, then you are putting your hair at risk for heat damage. And I'm very well aware of that every time I do heat style my hair. But I've been natural for, I don't know, maybe seven years, eight years, something like that. I'll have to go back and do the math because I don't remember the year. I always have to look it up. So I heat style sometimes um, and I'm familiar with how much heat my hair can take and I don't have any heat damage. But everyone's hair is different, so I just want to put that disclaimer out there. So I'm using this Ion Styling Solutions Humidity Defying Serum, which is a heat protectant. I've already put a little bit in my hair when I first blow dried it, but I like to just put a little bit more um, and just distribute it over my hair before I get into the wand curling process. When you're doing wand curls, I like to make sure that my hair is blow dried pretty good, making sure it's completely dry and that I got the roots pretty good as well. The key for me to get really good results is to do my hair in sections, small sections to be specific. This is about how much hair is in the first section. It's literally like maybe a half of inch um, in the width, I guess, probably even a little bit less than that. But I find that when I do bigger sections that I don't get the same results so since I want it to come out looking bomb you know I do take my time and I do smaller sections. I have a ton of hair obviously people always comment on that I know so it takes a really long time um every time I share a video of me wand curling on my hair people are like oh my god your arms must be really strong um, but let me show you guys what my first section looks like this small pieces okay so my curling wand is nice and hot and my section is ready. I like to take my rat tail comb to make sure that I comb it all the way through and that it's not tangled at all. I recommend using a thermal glove. I had a thermal glove, lost it. I personally don't like using it and I've never burnt myself, but I definitely recommend that you get a thermal glove because I know a lot of people who have burnt themselves. Anyway, I just extend my hair right here, like kind of pull it kind of taut, I guess, because I really want to get the roots. So this is my right hand, not sure how that translates on camera, but this is my right hand, this is my left hand, and I take the curling wand and I put it underneath. Since my hair is long, I try to start all the way at the base because it usually reaches closer to the end by the time I'm done. And I just wind it around the wand, hold it for about three seconds, and then I let go. And then this is what it looks like. I'm gonna keep repeating these steps the exact same thing so I'm not gonna be talking for the rest of the video I'm just gonna be showing you guys as I go along
I get to the opposite side, I do the same thing. So whichever side is closer to, I typically hold my hair with the same hand at the side that is closer to and I put the wand in the other hand. after an hour and a half. I hope that you guys will like these final results. I'm definitely feeling it. It's giving what it needs to give. If you're feeling the results, give this video a thumbs up. Also feel free to leave a comment. I preserve it at night by putting my hair up in a pineapple with a scarf. So I put it up like so, wrap my scarf around it, and then of course the ends are left out. I just put a bonnet over the top and it usually lasts me for a week or longer as long as I'm not like doing anything like OD. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video.